Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Boring Objects. Mmm. Boring Objects. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So, what is this podcast about? Now, I've made a few of these. Um, I think about 25, 26, maybe less, maybe three, I don't know, but a few. And basically what it is, it's, I talk about an object or a subject for, I don't know, half an hour, maybe longer, maybe less. And that's it. So it's kind of like a more focused version of the let me bore you to sleep. Because I just kind of focus on one thing. In fact, let me bore you to sleep is probably the least focused thing that I do. I don't know why I'm doing it with my hand. I don't know. Uh, So I just pick an object or a subject and I talk about it. So, for example... The last one I did was a few days ago, and I talked about, what did I talk about? I can't remember. Uh, No, I'm not sure. I talked about something, uh, and it was boring. It's so boring, I've forgotten what it was. Now, the object, or the object of this boring object... It gives you an opportunity to just allow your brain to kind of switch off a bit. Sometimes a little bit of focused tediousness is useful to just relax. And maybe you decide to allow yourself to fall asleep. Possibly. I don't know. That's up to you. I've got an itchy eyeball. So it's really just whatever you want it to be. So sometimes, because I'm not looking at the list, in fact, maybe I should look at the list so I can get an idea of what I've done before. Wow, okay. So if I go to this podcast, Boring Objects, Uh, Right, so I've done, oh, okay, blimey, I've done 27, 27 different podcasts, uh, 27 different subjects, so let me tell you the subjects I've done, because that in itself is probably quite boring, so, okay, Rain, that was the first one I did. Then I did hair, bricks, big pink pig piggy bank. Okay, that was the fourth one. Number five was printers. Six was cameras. Seven was plugs. Plugs as in electric plugs, not You know, um, not the enjoyable ones. <laughs> Eight was num was pizza. Nine was swimming pools. Ten was cheese. Wow, this is boring. This it's boring just reading out the titles. Eleven was hitchhiking. And number 12 was ovens. What? Books was 12. 13. 14 was goldfish. 15 was microphones. 16 was mops. 
I really, I'm stretching here, aren't I? Um, to try and find things to talk about. Number 17 was wallpaper. Well, they always say there's nothing more boring than wallpaper. Well, listening to someone talk about wallpaper is more boring than wallpaper. 18 is train spotters. 19 is games. 20 is beds. 21 is hats. 22 is jobs. I was looking at the titles and I just can't believe I talked about this stuff because I don't remember talking about any of it. Uh, Number 24, (laughs) wooden benches. Wow. I talked about wooden benches. This is back in October, so that's why I don't remember it because it's now June the next year. Wooden benches, blimey. Anyway, uh, number 23 is baths, as in washing, bath, you know, thing you... I was going to say the thing you get into when you have a bath. The thing that I can't fit into, yeah. Uh, 22 jobs. 23, I've already done 20. That's weird. 22 jobs. Okay, I've already done that. Wooden benches. Okay, 23 baths. 24. Ah, 24 wooden benches. Okay, 25 Belgium. Belgian? Belgium, as in the country. I've been to Belgium, I think, three times. And twenty six shoes. <laughs> oh, blimey. Twenty seven punch bags and twenty eight oh no, twenty seven was the last one I did, punch bags. And that was on the thirtieth of May. The very first one I did was in September the eighteenth last year. So it was nine months ago. Rain. And that lasted for 31 minutes. Boring objects lasted for 28 minutes. Um, um, Hair, rather. Bricks, as number three, lasted for 25 minutes. Big Pink Pig Piggy Bank lasted for 33 minutes. Printers lasted for 38 minutes. Cameras I managed to make that last of forty four minutes. I'm seeing if there's any really long ones. Wow, yeah, ovens fifty minutes or fifty one minutes nearly. That's the longest one out of the lot of them, I think. I've got forty one minutes for beds. Forty two minutes for wooden benches. Wow. 48 minutes for cameras. Right, blimey. Anyway, so that's that's what I've done in the past. And 54 minutes for Belgium. Did I mention that? I don't know. I can't remember everything. Hopefully this won't last that long. I'm hoping, I'm hope maybe I should call this podcasts that I've already done. Uh, and then that'll be it. We'll be able to say, well, it's 10 minutes done. But that's a bit of a cop out, isn't it? Uh, okay. Right. I mean, there's a chance if you, if you watch these podcasts, Or listen to these podcasts. There's a chance that I will repeat myself. You know, if you if you listen to these podcasts, there's a chance I might repeat myself. Um, There's a chance I might even repeat the subject without realizing it, 
because I don't generally look back upon previous recordings. I like to think of them like going to the toilet, you know, do it, flush it, move on with my life. That's what these podcast episodes are to me. It's, you know, once it's done, I don't want to really, or giving birth, you know, just, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to see it again, you know, it's, it's done, it's gone, move on. So, these are all my little babies. But, you know, I kind of forget as soon as... I forgot that sentence before I even finished it. Yeah, something like that. So, I kind of forget pretty much... As soon as I finished. So sometimes, like with the Let Me Boy You To Sleep podcasts, I get people commenting or sending me a message referring to, um, my glasses are a bit, wow, just bang the microphone. My glasses need cleaning. That's terrible, isn't it? Not really. I'm wearing them all day. They're going to get a bit dirty, aren't they? Or a little bit... I don't think they get dirty so much as a little bit smeary. Not like a smear test, but like a little bit, you know? I mean, sometimes I don't know if it's my eyes or the glasses. I think it's the glasses. Have I talked about glasses? Have I? I can't remember. I need to get a list of what I've talked about. I'm going to talk about glasses in today. As we... Yeah, but I don't know. I might have talked about them before. It don't matter. It's just going to be just another boring version of the same subject then, I guess, isn't it? I mean, you can tell the difference because it's got a different date and it's a different length. I mean, length isn't important anyway. I'm sticking to that. Itchy collarbone. Can you hear that? That's more than one dog, isn't it? Why do people have dogs like that? They just bark. They do nothing but bark. I could never dog that bark like that. I know dogs bark, but I would just have to just know. If I had a dog right from the start, no, nope, don't put up with it. I mean, I had my little Andre, he was a ferret, and... Very early on, I taught him not to bite me. Like, he could bite, but he had to... If I said gentle, he stopped. Yeah, and I taught him that right from birth. I mean, I didn't technically give birth to him. We had a little ceremony and we, you know, pretended. But, you know, I but he was tiny when I had him. And I had to teach him to not bite hard. And... If it had barked, I know because he, he wasn't a dog, a dog, so that would have been quite weird. I would have taught him not to bark. You can't teach a dog not to bark because dogs bark. That's what they do. It's like trying to teach a cow not to produce milk or go moo. I don't know what cows have got to do anything. Why? Why would you bring a cow up? weird so maybe I should talk about dogs I can't but dog, that's a big I'll be talking for ages and I don't want to talk for a long time because I can't be bothered um, glasses that should make I don't know though because I've had quite a few glasses have I talked about glasses before I mean I might have mentioned it I might have actually read the title I'm spitting everywhere I might have read the title Glasses and not even realised, not registered, because I wasn't even listening to my own voice as I was saying it. 
Anyway, so glasses. I think the first time I realised about glasses was my my biological mother used to wear glasses, and I'm pretty sure she wore dark glasses. Do you mean sunglasses? Well, see, I don't know, because we're talking the 70s, early 70s, middle 70s, early, yeah, early 70s. Did they have dark glasses back then that weren't shades, that weren't sunglasses? Because, you know, why would you wear sunglasses in the house? Wouldn't, would you, unless you were a rock star? So I'm thinking that maybe I got it wrong. But she wore glasses anyway. Which explains probably why I wear glasses. Uh, My dad's eyesight's really good. Um, He wears glasses for reading. But he's never worn glasses like all the time. And he's only worn glasses for reading the last, you know, few years or whatever. So his... His eyesight has been... I don't take after him with the general eyesight. But I did inherit the piles, which was lovely. That's nice. Mmm, hemorrhoids. Yum! Um, So I... And the only other person, really, family-wise, that wore glasses was my grandmother. She wore glasses, so I never really saw her without glasses. Apart from when she wasn't wearing them. So then, I went to school. And I saw people at school that wore glasses. I suppose what I'm saying is I never wore glasses. Uh, Not ever. I mean, at school. um, Didn't wear glasses. So, sometimes used to wear sunshades, you know, sunglasses in the summer. But I didn't wear glasses. And I was always a little bit worried about wearing glasses because I thought they made your eyes shrink. So I used to think, I thought that if you wear glasses, they make your eyes shrink into your head. Because the amount of people that I knew that wore glasses, and they'd take the glasses off and their eyes would just be tiny compared to what they were when they were wearing the glasses. And their eyes would be almost invisible inside there, like, can't see your eyes now. So I was worried that my eyes, because I just figured that if you didn't wear glasses... Or when you, if you wore glasses, your eyes didn't have to do much, so they just went back inside your head. Um, but if you don't wear glasses, you've got your eyes have got to kind of be very active, and they've got to kind of almost stretch out to see stuff, your eyeballs and that. But I might have that wrong. I didn't take much notice at school about anything really. I'm very uneducated. Mm. So I so I didn't wear glasses for anything. None of my brothers wore glasses. My dad didn't wear glasses. My f- stepmother, my dad's wife, didn't wear glasses. Uh, I think her mum did and my nan did. My other nan did. My granddad didn't wear glasses. And I knew people at school that wore glasses. And it seemed a lot of the ones that wore glasses were quite, seemed quite clever. And because I used to, I used to spend time with some of the clever kids. I think it made them feel good being around someone as dumb as me. Made them feel cleverer probably. But I spent, I don't remember really anyone any of the rough kids or any of the troublemakers wearing glasses generally didn't 
for some reason. I don't know why. So I to keep getting their glasses broken, wouldn't they? But then people did wear um, contact lenses even then, I think, in the 80s. Because I was at school from 80, high school from 81 to 86. 1986. As opposed to, what, 1886? <gasps> I'm not quite that old. I might look that old, but I ain't. Thank you very much. Yeah, so how it happened with my... Because f- obviously I wear glasses now. So at one point I had a first set of glasses. I think that's kind of an obvious statement. That's uh, fair enough, isn't it? It was 1986, I think. Yeah, it was. It was kind of... Uh, March time, maybe February time. I'm kind of being very loose with that because I don't remember. I don't actually remember the exact time because I didn't write in my diary. I didn't have a diary back then. I don't have a diary now. This is my diary. This is it. I don't write anything down anymore. Everything's verbal now. Everything I just... So I do the boring, let me bore you to sleep, and that's kind of like a, a verbal journal, really, I guess. Anyway, I was getting headaches. And I went to the doctors. I was just getting these headaches. Not migraines, but just headaches. Like, oh. And I used to read a lot. When I was a kid, all the way through being a kid, that was... Probably the one love that I've carried on throughout life is I love books. I love books. Still do. I I would live, you know, if I had the, if I had unlimited finances, I would basically live in a mansion full of books. Like every room would be, it'd be basically uh, the biggest library in the world. If I had, you know, the uh, unlimited resources to do that. I'd have every book on every subject that I'm interested in. So whenever, if I suddenly, so I've suddenly, not suddenly, but I've recently become more interested in neuroscience. That's Horace the Pigeon in the background, in case you're wondering. He actually comes and... He stands on my windowsill outside. And if the window's open, because there's two windows, three windows, but two windows that open to the windowsill, he goes, always goes to the one with the window open. He looks inside. He's like... <coughs> like that. Except he sounds like a pigeon. I don't know what, what the heck my sound was. I don't know what that was. I really don't know. So I went to the doctor. I, ha- I was having headaches. And, you know, I say about eye strain, because I was reading a lot, is that I, you know, I didn't really attribute it to that. And... The doctor said, what are you now wrong with him? Are you thinking it might be his eyes? Um, The doctor was Scandinavian. And so he said, you need to go to the vet, not the vet. What's an optometrist? I know an optician is, but an optrom- optometrist, optometrist, optometron, optometrist, optometron, I don't know. Anyway, go to the optician. So I went to the optician. Optician said I needed glasses. He also said I had a lazy eye. Huh? Yeah, lazy eye. Now, I don't think I've got a lazy eye. 
not one, not once in my life has anyone said, are you talking to me? I've never been talking to someone, no one else around, only one in the room, me and them, and they said, are you talking to me? Never ever, ever had anyone say that. So I'm figuring my eyes facing the same kind of general direction. But I had a lazy eye. I mean, to the point where the optician gave me exercises to do. He gave me a patch to wear to train my lazy eye. To be honest, I'm not sure if I put the patch on the right eye, but that's another story. And he had me do the exercises. So I think he got me to put a patch on my good eye. I don't remember which eye it was. And I had to do exercises where I would follow my finger with my eye, though, without turning my head. And it was something, or a pen, something like that. Or a pencil. I can't remember. It was a, had to be a straight thing. And it had to be near my face. And I had to kind of follow it. And... I had to do that for, I don't know, about six weeks, eight weeks or something. And he gave me glasses. I'm pretty sure, though, the glasses were for everything. Unless he gave me two... No, I think he did. He gave me glasses and they were for reading and also for general life. So that's where my eyesight was. It was at a point where I wore one pair of glasses for everything, including reading. I didn't really need glasses at the time to see. My eyesight was pretty good. I think the optician gave me glasses because I was straining my eyes. So to in order to stop me straining my eyes, he gave me a little bit of help, you know. So I wore them to school the first day. And people, even people that I didn't even know were making fun of me, were laughing at me. Because no one had seen me with glasses before because I'd never you know there were there were girls that I didn't even know they knew that I existed didn't even know that they knew who I was so they went from me being invisible to them to them just laughing at me wasn't quite the the vibe I was going for you know really I was I felt like I'd rather be invisible to a woman than for her to just think of me as being silly I don't know not, not, there's nothing wrong with being silly I'm, it's part of my life now but you know I just didn't want them I was, yeah, I was 15 years old I wasn't I was a bit sensitive to that you know I was covered in spots acne I was going through puberty I don't I don't think my voice had even broken or maybe it just about broke by then you know, I was still the smallest in my year. I was, I was a boy. I was a child among men, you know, really. It was it was weird. But yeah, but people made fun of me and I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. To the point where I took my glasses off when I was at school. Uh, they helped me for reading, though. I did find it was helpful. They they help, helped me to read without straining my eyes. And then I left school very shortly afterwards. And I remember walking... I can't remember. I think I just went for a walk. I don't think I actually ran away from home. But I went for a walk. And I walked all the way to the next town which was, I don't know, 16 miles, 20 miles, something like that. So I was just walking, walked all the way down the motorway. Lucky there was a grass verge, you know, I wasn't actually on the motorway. 
And I remember, I just walked, walked and walked and walked and walked. Just had to just keep walking. I followed the bus route in case I needed to get the bus. So I probably went the long way around. And eventually I hitched back, I think. So that, that was my first... I mean, even my little brother, who was eight years younger than me, so I don't know how old he would have been when I was 15. What, three or something? And... Seven. Seven years old. He would go like this. I'll move back so I don't hit the microphones. He'd go like this, with his eyes like that, and stick him right in my face. and I, like, really make fun of me for wearing glasses. When a seven-year-old makes fun of you, there's something wrong. I was being bullied by a seven-year-old. <sighs> so, that was that. And eventually I stopped wearing them. Not even for reading, I just didn't wear them. Didn't touch them. And I didn't wear glasses again at all until 1980, no, 1990. So we're going 86 for four years. I didn't wear glasses. And 1990, it was around, again, February time probably. Went to the opticians. Needed glasses just for reading, not for not for anything else, just reading. I was happy with that. I was fine because I love to read. I didn't want to wear glasses all the time. Although I used to find that they were good for, because I had a job and I quite uh, wear it was very bright, and I found and I kept having to look at labels and stuff. So I wore them during the day, and that did actually help a little bit um, at times. So I had those. I think I sat on them. I felt I got them home and I sat on them. They were on my bed and I sat on them for the, the first day. Like, oh, brilliant. So I had these frames and they were like all like that for about a year. So that was that was good. And then... So my eyesight was all right. It all corrected itself. I, did, I mean, I might have a lazy eye. I just can't see it. I mean, everyone's gonna like trying to like look at my eyes now. They're they're hidden, and so I. Ever since that time, I've been wearing glasses for reading, and I've had loads of glasses, loads of sets of glasses that I wore for reading. There was a period when I wore glasses during the day because I used to have to read stuff when I was working. But generally, just for reading. And then, I mean, I've had lots of different sets of glasses, honest. I mean, I just can't even keep track of how many there's been. Every two or three years, I've gone and got another eye test and... I don't know, have have opticians ever, has anyone ever once gone to the opticians, had an eye test, and the optician says, you're fine. Your eyesight's brilliant. Well done. You can go now. We don't want any of your money. Has it ever happened, ever? It must have done. So I... You know, they're quite a few glasses. And then in... I was working in a call centre. I knew my eyesight, my normal eyesight, was really starting to go downhill a bit. Because I couldn't... When a bus was coming, uh, you know the numbers. You got a number on a bus, like the front, to see... So I'm, you can see which one you put your hand out and stop the bus because that's the number of the bus you want. I couldn't see the bus. That's how bad my eyesight was. Like, you know, people would say, oh, excuse me, mate, I'm not sure you can tell me what number that bus is that's coming. I said, what bus? They said, it's it's 
It's it's just in front of the um that massive lorry. The crane that's carrying what lorry in the crane? Like that. It's the one just behind that. So I'm just banging the microphone here. It's the one behind that big tower. What tower? So no, I'm just going silly now. So I wore glasses for the first time, like properly during the day since I was a kid. Like having to. And yeah, so that was weird. And I was working in a call centre and I got these you know, so yeah, you have to wear glasses all the time now. So, because I used to wear glasses when I was a counsellor. Hard to believe, I know. When I was kind and therapeutic in my previous life, I used to wear my reading glasses when I was with clients. I quite liked that. It's not that I used it as a barrier, but I could focus a bit better on them. Because without them, I couldn't, it's almost like I could Not that I couldn't see their face. I could see their face, but it was a bit... Things were fuzzier without my glasses. If I I take my glasses off, things become fuzzier. Not for other people. Maybe for other people. Maybe I've got a fuzzy face. Fuzzy. And I remember, this is about 2000 and... uh, 12 I think for 2012 I started wearing glasses all the time so I needed glasses at that time I needed three sets of glasses but I got these active lens things that have these like all three in one lens glasses for distance glasses for reading and glasses for using the computer And they worked all right. I was I got used to how to use them. And then a few years later, I got glasses again, and I decided to have separate glasses for distance and separate glasses for reading. It's just easier to try and read on one little bit. It's easier just to have a, the whole of your glasses that you can read with. So that's what I did. So I changed that. And then... I've had a few sets of glasses, but recently... I say recently, how long ago was it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, Probably... Maybe a year ago. I'm not sure. This year. Yeah, it's got to be this year. I'm pretty sure it's this year. Um, I had my glasses. Or was it last year? No, it's definitely this year. I uh, had another eye test. Got some new glasses. These ones are, again, mixed. So at the bottom there's reading and at the, the, the middle is like distance. But the the bottom, and it's, it's just not enough space for reading. I need at least half for reading. But the problem it gives me, and I end up just using my old glasses for reading, because the reading hasn't really changed that much, but distance has. Or, well, just seeing things, really. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the, the bit at the bottom, because it's for reading, it's magnified which distorts, it distorts the ground, because there's a different lens, so that I don't see stuff that's on the floor, and recently I went I went away for a couple of weeks on holiday, just to get away, I had to get away, um, and I was tripping over things constantly, because I couldn't see it, because my glasses wasn't picking it up, because there's that little bit there, which covers kind of where my feet are, just a bit ahead of my feet, is a bit fuzzy, because it's not the right lens for that. 
So I'm going to need to go back to the opticians and ask them to change the lenses, put these just normal lens, the whole of it, and to have um, the other lens for reading in a separate pair. So I'm going to do that hopefully in the next week or so. It wasn't quite as exciting as I thought it would be talking about glasses. I really thought it would be an immensely satisfying conversation. But not really. It was a little bit pointless, wasn't it? A little bit pointless. Didn't have any as as many exciting stories as I thought I'd have. I mean, you'd think with a subject like glasses, there'd be many, 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 many wonderful stories, but nothing, nothing. Oh well, that's it. That's the end of this recording. I could have just done this in like one sentence. I've worn glasses for quite a few years. Bye. You know, that would have been it, really. But, hey, managed to flesh it out for 40 minutes. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. I don't even know what I've talked about, really. Glasses. I mean, blimey. Well, I do know what I've talked about. I've talked about glasses, obviously. But I'm just saying, I don't. I don't know... Mm, you know, it's like, I mean, I'd, I'd, I know it's boring objects, but I'd like to talk about something that's mildly interesting, just for me. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go, thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Lots of love. Bye.